Hey everybody, welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. My name is Andrew, and you are on Art of Iron 4. I'm again Tyranny. This is the 12th episode, so if you follow this series since the beginning, I think that you know what's going to happen. Um, oops. I forgot something in the last episode, didn't I? Well, um, having the service by requirement would uh, uh, increase the construction speed, the factory output, the dockyard output, but this is not that interesting. The fact is that we are going to increase the recruitable population to a 10% against the 2.5 that we have now. So we are, mass uh, are going to massively increase our manpower and we need it. We desperately need manpower or we will not be able to... Look at this, we, we can't even fit feel the mechanized right yeah we're missing everything um obviously then it's gonna be difficult to catch up with the divisions of the german army because they're full of them we noticed uh, by checking the intel we're talking about now they have two million as a reserve we have a, a big fat zero and they have run about let me check the army intel Four to set four point six to seven million army manpower, and if we compare it to us, our is uh, three point three. So, what are we talking about? That's gonna be tough. Let's go to the engineering and let's study the atomic bomb. Uh, it, it will take a lot of time, but we have time, right? Okay, here we have some tanks, not bad. As you can see, I am putting a lot of troops here on the border in Russia because I hope that we try to push and that we try to push without logistics. We are building now a very good logistic uh, system. Uh, the issue here is that, yeah, we, 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 we don't have enough men to fix everything, but we do our best. All right, 20 divisions. That's a little mix of everything. We pick them. We assign a general, and now the question is, where the hell are, am, I, uh, am I putting you? This is regular infantry. If I put them here, then I can really prepare a good push. If I put them in Hungary, I think I will defend myself better. And I'm afraid that Hungary is not covered enough. What we have to do, on the other end, is to assign also another field marshal, because at the moment we, we are running out of them. Okay, let's stop building uh, the anti-hair and for the old one. Let's pick the new one. And let's go to the Uomo della Providenza. To live like, like a lion, plus uh, so war support offensive, war penalty, plus 10%, and so on. Yeah, of course. Why not? One thing that I might consider... Let me check how many tanks we have. Medium 2200. I go here and I pick some of those trucks and I turn them into tanks. I don't have the manpower to do that. Come on, jeez. So, this is so difficult because I can't declare war in this situation. And I can't request more uh, garrison support. This is very bad. Ah, this is very bad. We have already uh, a lot of men from, the, from them. All right, then. This as it is. I'm wondering if those guys are pushing and I have only one unit here. What's gonna happen? So in Kalini now we have the uh, supply hub and we're building a lot of uh, military factories, a lot of civilian factories and well, wish me good luck guys because I wanted to attack uh, in, um, in spring and I, I want to do it but Gonna be, it's going to be difficult. So we have already prepared a collaboration with government uh, uh, in Germany. We are preparing the second one, I guess, very soon. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, now we have... Uh, th that's, that's something I really like. We have more tanks. If I put here those troops, I think that this is this is not enough. 
What I need here now are the six tanks immediately on this guy. Uh, and then we can try to push uh, more uh, better in this area and, and create, for example, this would be fantastic because we could get to coal and do uh, an encirclement, but we have to be careful because this is forest. So, supply truck attrition and so on, that's not the, the best one ever. And here we have two of them. So, un until I don't have a little bit more manpower, can't do anything. Which means also I need to stop uh, drafting. So those are the last units that I'm going to, to recruit and then uh, we need to... Actually I can stop these guys and get uh, back a little bit more manpower. Devotion. More power, more recruitable population, plus 5%. This is also very good. I didn't notice this earlier. Try to fill everybody and everything. We need also to assign here, we have another uh, Cannone Ferroviario. No, 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 not to Africa. That was a big mistake here. Absolutely here. Let's prepare the offensive, uh, shall we? One. I do it individually. I don't want to prepare separated offensive because... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I want to prepare separated offensive. I don't want to uh, prepare the field marshal offensives. Okay, this guy being here is a little bit of waste. Maybe for the time being you go actually here, because if we manage to push, then we need people getting to Vienna and Munich. Because as you can see, I assigned, uh, I would say, quite in a wrong way. Field Martians, but now it's too late. So, good luck, Andrew. Okay, this is important. Pronto. Pronto. Formazione. All right. Formazione. Sì, signore. You're also training a lot, so uh, at a certain sì, point signore. I have to stop this. Okay. The others here in theory should just defend, but we give um, we give a mission to everybody then let's see. Okay. So no national focus for Capo Supremo we need towards the Greater Italy. Okay, which we don't have because we have Mare Nostro, which is alright. We're getting some empower God. God, thank you. We're getting some manpower. And the non-aggression pact with Turkey will be accepted for the time being. Okay. To claim that uh, Turkey, the Kingdom of Greece here should does not exist. If I click on this, can it just bypass? Yeah. Right, so then I can do the claims on Turkey, but I don't want to do it now. Okay. Look how many medium tanks we have. We will need them all. Let me check what we're missing now. Infant equipment, really. Ah, yes, because we can modernize them. And we go also to the modern tank chassis. And we go for the, for the modern engine. Then we will improve the quality of our tanks later on. We need also to go to the, um, uh, to the espionage again. Spy network. Dodge is almost there. Looks good. It looks good. 
So, use manpower 4 million in the army, 200,000 200, in the air, 407 in the navy. We have 4.5 million manpower now, so we increased pretty well. But uh, we are getting uh, Monte Growth in states uh, 5,500. Sounds really good. Okay. Let's get back. Let's go to the Navy. Which I didn't touch in the last episode, but uh, honestly speaking. Uh... Okay. So, right click to move to location, yes, but I would like to do something different here. I'd like to move to this location, for example, okay, that's fine, that's enough. Alright, um, it seems that I will move again uh, and, and build up a little bit more fortification. Alright, so I will keep my industry busy, but... I will not um, waste it. So the cryptology is also increasing and improving. And I think, guys, that now it's time. Now it's time. I don't believe that there is much else to do. We move our trains. Oh, yes, there is something actually that we want to do. Let's have a look at the aircrafts. Here we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, around about 4,000 uh, airplanes, aircrafts. If I want to push in this direction, that's the way to go. Here in Calais, we can put another tactical, CAS, and fighters. Look how many, my goodness. Um... Perfect. Again, Shift K. And I think that here I have everything what I wanted, but uh, now we go to Alto Adige. We put the rest. And also your Shift K. All right. So our industry is doing pretty well. Let's start doing this. Just if I were go. Conquer Upper Austria, 85 days, okay? In 85 days, guys. Oh, that's gonna be interesting in 85 days. Alright, so. So, whoever now is missing some. Mechanized is getting one. Pronto, signore. Pronto, signore. We spread it. Formazione. I think that that's it, right? Okay, you know what? Uh, we stop this mechanized division. It's uh, it's meaningless, and we stop also the trainings. Whoever is regular is regular. The others are not. Okay. So we keep the trainings only and uh, exclusively um, here. On the aircraft, we want them to we want them to be regular, all of them. And here we are going to do some well you say that right? The airplanes. That's pretty good. Valerpino Littorio, so it seems that we developed a lot of uh, our of what we could. Let me check the Alps here. So actually, if I could push into Innsbruck, there are only two, really only two 
um, divisions, we can reach Munich in, in a very short time. And here we have Visconti that with the uh, motorized could do a very good job. Okay. How is it going with the... Yes, I, I'm, I was looking exactly <laughs> at the nuclear nuclear uh, power plants. And then you see we have a lot of forts. Si, but again, we start a war with 127,000 uh, troops, while Germany has 3 million. I'm kind of worried. I'm really kind of worried. We, we have 400 T2, 900 division, deployment power, 4 and 4 versus... Between 5 and 8, yeah. That's, that's uh, what the spies are saying. That's what the spies are saying. What can I get my boy out? Rescue. Okay, we have the jet engines. <laughs> And another thing that we could do then are the rocket sites, but uh, we do them later. We do them. We we will think about this later. Okay, okay. I mean, it seems that I don't have any logistic. What? Denmark. <laughs> Denmark just committed suicide. <laughs> it's just like a war on Germany like this. Maybe they got a little bit ex uh, exalted about the fact that um, I was about to declare war in Germany, but my casus belli is not is not yet yet there. Uh, just if I were eighty five, okay, just a couple of days still. Could you resist? Can you resist? No, they can't resist. The fall of top. The fall of Tokyo. The fall of Tokyo. And excuse me. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't, guys. I didn't follow this. Uh, this is this is hilarious. The United States with Puppet Japan, because Tokyo is, is over. This is funny. Therefore, successfully strengthened. Well, okay, fine. So, so good. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now I'm bringing the Russians everywhere because the Russians are really drafting a lot of people. There is only one little thing. Uh, if they could also give me more manpower, I would be very happy. But it seems that they say, hey man, I gave you already manpower. So what else do you want from me? Do you want the blood? Yes, that's exactly what I want. Whatever. The justification is ready. Now we take all our... Um, air forces my idea is to push into Saarbrücken get to Köln and then DG so we have to go here air superiority and close their support on the other side here we have to push into Innsbruck air superiority close their support but here we have only a thousand three hundred um, airplanes so no actually this is only Milan in Milano I don't know why sometimes I speak German, sorry guys. Um, oh, holy moly. We have a little bit more now. Just a little bit more. Why not? Okay, so now we are pushing in the, to those two directions. One thing that I would like to do, we have only two Tank divisions. Remove them in this area. Deploy over 5,000 aircrafts into one airspace region. I never did it. <laughs> now I did. Now I did. Okay, now we have also the tanks that can a little bit, <laughs> you know, just a little bit push it. 
cool. All right. My dear friends, let's declare war on Germany and let's call our allies. Italy is called the New Mongol Empire, Bulgaria, uh, uh, and the uh, Reichskommissariat Ru Russia, and the East Italian Indies, and Australia and Belgium. And we just declare war on the German Reich. Now, speed three. They are not moving one finger. They are not moving one finger. Uh, which means now we try to push where we have the chance. And see if anything happens. I would like to see here Intel advantage. We, do, we don't have the uh, air advantage. We don't have the air superior. Ah, okay. <laughs> Probably not that. <laughs> My bad. What the actual hell? What the actual hell? Look at this. Where the hell are they going here in Austria? Let's take immediately, immediately Becchiarelli and let's activate immediately his order. Let's take Visconti and activate the order. We have to push here in Austria because we are uh, getting to Munich. We take Graz and Munich. Very simple. Now Becchiarelli changes and goes here uh, immediately. And he tries to take all this territory. We activate already the the order. I mean, the fact that we have uh, no, that's wonderful. We managed to push in Austria, guys. They didn't. They were not covering. They were not. Uh, um, that's wonderful. I can invite the Kingdom of Denmark in the faction. Well, they are about to. Um, They're about to um, to fall, but I don't care. Ah, I forgot a very important thing. I have I forgot a very important thing. All right. Let's compose. Now we stand together. Uh, Luxembourg, I see. Ah, finally. <laughs> now we have the, the full air support in Luxembourg. Okay. Okay. And then we move to this. No, 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 no. Then this region and this region. It seems that we uh, managed to kill their supplies. Kind of, somehow. Yeah, I think we managed to do the, the first encirclement here. No, I, I I should not say this. Let me let me let me take it back, please. Uh, what we have here in Munich is Vecchiarelli, and here we can try to take Salzburg, very important Austrian city. Now we have also Munich. So, within the first month. We got 15% of the things that we need. 15%. Alright. Uh, I keep those guys here, starving in the in the darkness. What I would like to see. Um, do I have any easy? Uh, no, let, let, let's let's focus on let's focus on East and South Germany now, because this could turn into a very very important victory.
But I need the, I need to bring the tanks here. All right. Okay, here we managed to uh, to kind of close the circle. Right? Given the south, things are getting, I think, more complicated because now they are putting the tanks in, uh, in front of us on our face. But did we take also Vienna? Yes, we have also Vienna. Well, this is great. No, let, let's stop this. This is great because if we have we have Munich and Vienna, uh, that's a thirty-five percent victory. Uh, okay, we have also Luxembourg and other little topics now. Let's just uh, use the advantage that we have here to kill round about 13, okay, 28 the, the German divisions. And let's go to Africa to check how things are going in Cairo. That's pretty good. Obviously, yes, it's not so super simple to to kill all of all those units because there are a lot, but all right. Okay, they are start, they start march they start marching from South Africa. Here everything is not moving in Russia, and I have one hundred sixty eight thousand men, so I can't really uh, do anything else. All right, and now we kill twenty eight divisions. Then we start moving uh, into Essen Dortmund. That that was wonderful. That was wonderful. So we lost eighty four thousand men. They lost six hundred thirty thousand men within the last the first two months. I mean, I know it has been frustrating to prepare everything, but without this kind of preparation, I mean, things are they're never so easy, you know. Nothing is easy. So we we did it. Now I want quickly to try to cut into Stuttgart and see if I have the chance to uh, create also another encirclement here, which would be wonderful. We don't have tanks, but our infantry is, is pushing pretty well. And look at this, I think we can cut and go behind the lines, absolutely. We can also take Ulm. We might be able to do the encirclement now. Do I see? Yeah, perfect. We did it. We did it, which means now we push it uh, in every direction here. And the air, air forces should stay here. Great. Look at this. They are beating us badly in Hungary and everywhere else. But I don't care. Actually, here... Did we? Did we do? I think that I've activated someone because we are pushing here also inside Hungary, but it's okay. Look at this. This is another encirclement. You have 5 plus 2, 7, 10, 13, 14, 15, okay, 18 divisions that we are going to uh, kill. Plus the 28 that we did before. That's a pretty decent result. And now the south of Germany is in our lovely hands Munich and Stuttgart amazing important industrial cities little mustache will be very very angry I imagine him is in his uh, little room all sweating and screaming nine 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 and uh, yeah it's, it's it's a painful situation but I'm very sorry my little mustache oh um more bonds. It's always good risk for the bomb, yes. Indeed. Let's expand also some industry. Let's continue. We lost uh, 50k, 50,000 men, which is nothing for a war, but in our situation that's everything. Uh, and I need always to keep an eye on the spies. Bring more of them. And yes, that's why. And okay, that has to start. 
And I think that we finished the second corporation government. So we need to get back. Because this means that Germany now at, it's at 45% uh, of its capacity. I love it. And we definitely have more industry now that we captured the productive south. I love it. You know what? Um, it would be great to attack Stuttgart all together. We lost Hul. Mm. This is the this is the this is the place where the magic happens. Yeah. This is the place where the magic happens, guys. Uh, let's push here. Let's push towards uh, towards front foot here. Uh, Frankfurt and Köln are extremely important. Also, Mighty Ulm is important, but not like like this too. Look how um, look, look how they are trying now. They pushed into Kalinin. Uh, they are trying to push in the east, and good luck to them. I mean, they will manage for sure, but. What's gonna be the price? Well, wait, they will discover soon. They're gonna discover soon. It would. One thing, let me study logistics here because now, but they are full. Uh, Germany is not, there, that's not even a discussion. That's not even a discussion. I try to kill them here on the logistics is just stupid. It's not going to happen. Let's try to get to Köln. While here we have some trucks that might go to Frankfurt, and here some infantry that just has uh, to create some easy peasy. Uh, sort of encirclement, so we get Sabruk and then we keep it like this, and we reduce our line. Here in the south, we are holding really only with the trucks, which is, if you let me say that, uh, let's say it risky, risky. Maybe we also get Maastricht with an encirclement. But we are almost losing the manpower, so soon we will have to stop. Uh, yes, we get Maastricht. Uh, we will have to stop this. Man, why are you not taking this? Alright, good. And now everything, everybody to Essen. Which in German means eating, but in this case, I mean, I just wanted to inform you. All right, and we think we 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 found the, the cooperative, right? Yes. Let's go back to Germany with all our strength. Let's check if we can uh, start again another uh, collaboration government. Not yet, because we have a 9%. Okay, three civilian factories. Now, let's have some fun. Right? I know that they have some military factories that I could use, but um, uh, 
No, it's not. Okay, so we're we're talking about the Essen, but um, let's try to take Cologne. Cool. 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 With the last manpower that we have, taking Cologne and Essen would be another uh, hit uh, in the German the German industry. We don't need to do um, always encirclements, absolutely not. But. Um, just to push and, and but Frankfurt would be also another great uh, uh, achievement. Now we have that we have Cologne probably forty six percent. You know it's, it's it's very good. Here there is an airport we might take and then attack Essen from the south. Here we have another tank. Let's use it from the other direction and probably okay. Those guys uh, those guys left. We got Essen. And now we get those Dortmund. Oh my dear friends. We just got Don Essen. We take Dortmund. It's a big industrial development. Uh, development uh, area, yeah. Let me take the airplanes. Everything looks good here. Everything looks good. Let's try to uh, give a hand also to Belgium. Then I think I will stop for today. Come on, one last last effort. Keep a mountaineer here and push to, uh, into Frankfurt. It's great. Let's get to Utrecht so we create another um, encirclement in uh, in the Netherlands. Those tanks can then move to Amsterdam. Uh, we have Frankfurt. But we lost we lost the Stuttgart and we lost also Regensburg. Okay, so let's close here. So, we are at 59% uh, of the victory, capitulation of Germany. We lost 300,000 men, they lost 2.3 million. And uh, that's, a, that's an amazing, that's really an amazing development. What I don't understand is why the East Indies are losing their um, strength. I think that the Germans are attacking them here. And another thing that I didn't consider was, uh, as I said, I should have attacked better, pushed better here. Because the Germans are also taking part of the South Africa, I don't want this to happen. And they're trying to push in the east, but as you can see, we are holding. And I really, I, I'm really questioning the artificial intelligence that tries to push east while we have basically the control of the best industrial part of their territory. And that's going in the long run to. So it's going to be an issue, but. We see this uh, in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and see you next time.